Welcome to Learning VMware Horizon 7 by Pact Publishing. So let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Peter Von Oven, and I've spent the last 20 plus years of my IT career working with customers and partners in designing technology solutions aimed at delivering true business value. I've been involved in numerous large scale enterprise projects and deployments, and you may well have seen me present at some of the key IT events, such as VMworld, IP Expo, and various VMUGs and Citrix user group events across the UK. I've also held senior pre-sales roles and pre-sales management roles for some of the key vendors such as Fujitsu, HP, Citrix and VMware and have also been awarded the VMware VExpert for 2015 and 2016. Over the past 12 years or so I've focused my skills and experience by specialising in the desktop and application virtualization market and today I work at market leading desktop transformation specialist Liquidware Labs where I hold the role of the UK pre-sales director. So I got my first taste of writing when I assisted with some of the chapters in a book entitled Building End-User Computing Solutions with VMware View, which then led on to writing six other packed titles, including VMware Mirage Essentials, Horizon Workspace Essentials, View Essentials, Mastering VMware Horizon 6, which was co-written with Barry Coombs, Learning App Volumes, and my most recent book, Mastering Horizon 7 Second Edition. In this section, we're going to give you an overview of what you will learn in this course. In section one, we're going to look at what you need to have in place as the foundation from which to build the example lab environment that will be used throughout this course. In section two, we will start to look at the architecture of VMware Horizon 7 and look at the different components that make up the complete solution. In section three, we will take these components and look at how we can start to build and design a Horizon View environment guiding you through the different project phases. In section four, we will start to install the VMware Horizon View software using the example lab environment. In section five, we will build the first of the virtual desktop machines to be used to deliver to the end users. In this case, a Windows 7 desktop that will also go on to optimize for VDI. In section six, we will build the second of the virtual desktop machines that Horizon View will deliver. This time this will be a Windows 10 desktop and we will also again optimise it to run in a VDI environment. In section 7 we will introduce you to the concept of desktop pools, groups of desktops that the end users can then consume. And finally in section 8 we will connect to the virtual desktop machines that we have created in the example lab environment. We will also look at how to optimise and manage the end user experience. To run the example lab, you will need to have the following hardware in place. x86 servers, two recommended, and configured with enough resource to run six virtual Microsoft Windows 2012 R2 servers, two Windows 7 virtual desktop machines, and two Windows 10 virtual desktop machines. It's also recommended to have a shared storage array, however you can use the internal storage on the ESX host servers if you need to. To run the example lab, you'll also need the following software. vSphere 6.0 as a minimum, both ESX and Windows version of the vCenter server, Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2, Microsoft Windows 7 Professional 64-bit, Microsoft Windows 10 Professional 64-bit, and Microsoft SQL Express 2012. And finally, who is this course for? If you're a desktop administrator or part of a project team looking at deploying a virtual desktop and or application delivery solution or take advantage of some of the latest features, then this course is perfect for you and your ideal companion in helping you to deploy a solution to centrally manage and virtualize your desktop estate using VMware Horizon 7. You will need to have some experience in desktop management using the Microsoft Windows desktop and server operating systems and general Windows applications as well as be familiar with the Active Directory, SQL Server and VMware vSphere infrastructure, both ESX and vCenter Server.